I didn't bother with an alarm clock because I would naturally wake at first light. This would give me enough time to roll into Greenwood for a big breakfast and some treats. The only thing to slow me down are all the gates along this section. It's not a huge number, but it's enough to break your rhythm. feel like little boat anchors. <sighs> Pie, it goes with everything. Today's salty bird advice, never pass up a surprise bathroom. Big fat breakfast. Legs aren't too bad. They're heavy, but they're uh, they're feeling strong-ish. Back onto the multi-use trail. So a little whoops here from all the ATVs and a little bit more sandy. Boundary City was renamed Midway because it was halfway between the Rocky Mountains and the Pacific Ocean. Depending on the direction you're riding, this is where the Columbia Western and the Kettle Valley Rail Trail start and end. tablets I didn't realize they were effervescents and I put them in two water bottles closed my water bottles and started a ride and almost exactly the same time my water bottles went poof open and I got a face full of noon
nicely soaked wet. Feels good. Probably won't last for long though. <laughs> the only thing that's stopping me from frying my brain. Hot. This like, feels like a blast furnace. Bad when 5k at home seems like nothing. 5k out here feels like you're gonna die. The heat sure saps the energy. Okay, in reality, there's not really that many gates. They just happen to appear when you least expect them. And apparently, I'd lost count of how many I went past. And for those of you that use trailers, you're gonna have to carry it over that cement maze that I just went by. I really like these uh, glasses for prescription. I've had Oakley's for a long time. And these ones are transition and uh, they are super clear at night. I like them. Okay, let's go. the first time I've ever uh, ridden the uh, Myra Canyon trestles the whole area at night. Uh, I've ridden them at dawn and dusk and other times but right at night this is bizarre.
passing Chute Lake, you start to drop down into the Okanagan Valley. My average speed was over 30 kilometers an hour, but it didn't take long. The heat was building and I was getting tired. It was time to pull over and have a nice little nap. I was hoping to be a little farther along today, but I'm happy with my on-bike times at this point. At this pace, a four and a half day finish would be within my grasp, and this old guy would be pretty stoked with that. Mm -hmm.